Hey everyone, Gaffy Man here, and today we're going over some ghost protein cereals. That's right, ghost protein cereals. You heard it right. Do they have caffeine in them? No. Why am I reviewing them? Hello again everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. Really do appreciate it. And as you can see, we have the Ghost Protein here. This is Protein Cereal. They just, 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 just released it. And they were kind enough to send me one box of each flavor. So a huge shout out and thank you to Ghost Energy for sending me these products to review. And I typically only review the energy drinks, but I said Protein Cereal. Everyone's gonna wanna know about this. So they don't have caffeine in them, but I'm still reviewing it for you today. So it looks like we got some peanut butter cereal as well as a marshmallow one and I'm not gonna go over all the ingredients typically in my energy drink reviews I'll go over all the ingredients nutrition facts all that stuff but it would not be a caffeine man video if I didn't provide that information for you because people want to know what is in the cereal they don't want to see a taste test obviously they want to know what it tastes like but they want to know what's in it so I'm gonna put the nutrition facts panel there for each one while I'm trying it and I will put the ingredients right there for each one as I try it and hopefully there's enough room because uh, I squish myself and perfectly centered right here. Well, let's taste them out. We're gonna start with, I would wanna say the peanut butter, but I think the peanut butter might be a little bit stronger. So I wanna go with something a little bit lighter in flavor, even though I will cleanse my palate in between. Let's get ourselves some Lucky Cereal. It's not called Lucky Cereal, but hopefully you can see what I did there. 17 grams of protein. Obviously, I gotta tell you what the protein is. 17 grams of protein, I'm very excited. Here we go. Since I always give you guys a detailed review, bags sealed very, very, very well. Kind of hard to open, so just be careful. Nice portioning between the amount of marshmallows and cereal. Similar to the other cereals, it's a little bit hard to tell what the marshmallows are, so I was trying to look on the box to see if they had what they are, but uh, this one looks like it might be kind of like a pineapple shape. This one's definitely in the shape of a heart. This one looks like it could be a moon or a U or a purple banana. Let's get a close up. All right, let's add some milk. Left side is the marshmallow. Mix it up a little bit. Make sure there's a uh, liquid in all of it. A couple of the marshmallows in there. Taste it out. Microphone's a little further away than usual, so you might hear a little more echo than normal, but uh, probably hear that crunching. Very crunchy. All right, so first impressions, it's very crunchy, and these little round puffs, they taste like your regular puffs that you get out of your cereals that use similar puffs. They're not too dense. They are a little bit more light and fluffy on the inside. And to be honest, somewhat plain flavored, but most of the cereals are kind of plain flavored. It's what else is in the cereal that makes it taste good. And it's those marshmallows that when you have a bite with the marshmallows, you can really get a bit of sweetness in there, a little bit more flavor to it. And overall, it is the marshmallows that really do give it its overall flavor, gives it a touch of sweetness to it. And per serving, it does have 10 grams of sugar, but I think you really need that sugar in there to give it some flavor. Now, is it the best cereal out there? Not really. Is it a bad cereal? cereal? Definitely not. I think it is your regular standard run-of-the-mill kind of cereal flavor. But what is amazing about that, because everyone's like, well, if it just tastes like cereal, why would I want it? Is that you're getting 17 grams of protein out of it. 
and you're not tasting any protein at all. That is what's exciting about it. So that just actually boosted it up a notch on the scale for how good of a cereal it is because the flavor is good. It's not amazing, but it's amazing that you're going to get 17 grams of protein out of here. It's just another great option to get your protein. I've tried a bunch of different protein shakes and protein powders, and I find them to be very, very hit or miss for me. There's only been a couple for me, not that I've had a lot, but there's only been a couple for me that I didn't really get that proteiny vibe out of them. But for this, this definitely doesn't have any proteiny vibe at all. And if I were to do some kind of like a cereal taste test or something like this, and they gave this to me and they said, what do you think this is? I would be, well, it's kind of plain, but those marshmallows make it taste better. So it just tastes sort of like a marshmallow cereal. And if they told me there was protein in it, I wouldn't believe them because I know what most of those protein powders taste like. You definitely don't get that flavor in here. Let's taste out the peanut butter. I'm not really even sure how many people review cereals. Seems like to me it would be a very niche audience. But I did actually know of one person. I came across his channel a couple of years ago, uh, Kifrika, and he does all cereal reviews. And interestingly enough, even though he does all cereal reviews, he's actually sponsored by Ghost Story. But I thought it was interesting that Ghost sponsored him because he does cereal reviews. He doesn't do like energy drinks or anything like that. But then come to find out a lot of energy drink reviewers aren't sponsored by anybody. And most likely because it would probably be a conflict of interest if I was sponsored by Ghost, they might not want me to be sponsored by anybody else. So at least with Kifrika, he can review all the cereals that he wants and then just be sponsored by any other company that's not a cereal company. And that makes me want, maybe I should get a sponsorship with someone who's not an energy drink company. Maybe I'll find a cereal that I like and get Kifrika. Do you know any uh, cereals that want to sponsor uh, an energy drink guy? Let me know. Comments down below. DM me on Instagram. I'm all over the social media. He's probably even got a code for you to save 20% off. So check out Kifrika's channel. Let's get back to this review. Man, I thought this was gonna be a quick review, but there are no quick caffeine man reviews. I just talk too much. Here we go, peanut butter. I can smell the peanut butter from here. Just letting you know, I'm not a fan of most peanut butter, like fake peanut butter flavors. I don't really like the peanut butter protein bars. Don't really like many peanut butter protein shakes. Although, Ghost did actually do a good job with their nut or butter cookie flavor. But I will still give it a fair review, because I always give honest reviews. Let's taste it out. All right, first impressions, as soon as I had it in my mouth and I started crunching, I thought, man, this is a little bit dry and a little bit plain. But as I continued to crunch, that peanut butter flavor really did start to stack up. I'm like, oh wow, this really isn't that plain. And even right now, I still have an aftertaste of peanut butter and you are gonna get that peanut butter breath for all of you who have peanut butter sandwiches, peanut butter and crackers, celery and peanut butter, you get that peanut butter breath afterwards. I think you're gonna get it from here because I do think this flavor is gonna stack a little bit and saying that now that it's been about a minute since I had the first bite first two bites I still got that aftertaste in my mouth so if you like peanut butter I think you're gonna like these let me go in again see how much it's gonna stack Yeah, they're going to get a nice peanut butter flavor. So if you buy this and you have the first bite, you might be like, oh, the cereal's okay. As you continue to eat it, if you like peanut butter, you're going to get a nice solid peanut butter flavor in your mouth. And these puffs are actually, they look like the same exact puffs that are in the marshmallow one, but instead of just being plain, oh, they're squishy now. But instead of just being like a plain puff, they put the peanut butter powder on top, which is good because you really kind of want to be able to get through a whole bowl, a whole serving to be able to get your, your 17 grams of protein, your 18 grams grams of protein and a little bit less sugar in this one. If I had to choose between the two, I would say that I like the flavor of this one better. I think it's a little bit more potent of a flavor and a bit more accurate to its name. This one, even though it's good, you have to make sure you get an even portion of puff and marshmallow because the puffs are a little bit too plain and the marshmallows do help it out with that sweetness, but it's still good. And even though I still get that peanut butter in my mouth, I wonder what would happen if they did a peanut butter marshmallow. Hmm? Mm -hmm. A little bit of that, a little bit of that. That'll be the next box from Ghost. They can call it Caffeine Man cereal. Mm -hmm. There you go. 
Peanut butter marshmallow, add a little bit of caffeine to it, get a great start to your morning breakfast. But there you have it, neither one of these tastes like protein, so if you're looking to get your protein in the morning, don't wanna get a protein shake, don't like the flavor of protein shakes, you do like peanut butter or you do like marshmallow, you now have another way to get your protein into your system. Thank you again to Ghost for sending me these, I really do appreciate it. And if you're into energy drinks as well, be sure to check out my channel. I don't only do energy drink reviews, I also do caffeine safety videos to let you know what the safe amount of caffeine is and also to let you know that not all energy drinks are bad for you and i got and i've reviewed all of the ghost energy drinks as well so be sure to check out my channel if any of that interests you and until next time have yourselves a great day and also and i mentioned i'm not sponsored by anybody just tossing that out there i don't know if i specified it i do remember briefly talking about sponsorships but i'm not sponsored by ghost not sponsored by anybody just giving you an honest review until next time have yourselves a great day or night.